Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist. Welcome to our YouTube channel and welcome to our second video in our free training the basics of cartography inside Quantum Chess. Okay, in the first video we've taken a look at the basics uh, of this software in general, uh, the menus, the panels, and how to uh, create a new layer, how to view the world map, how to add an open street map, how to view different layers, how to shut them down, and what are coordinate systems, and I think that was enough as an introduction. So uh, in this video we are going to cover some of the uh, elementary basics of cartography in general and how to use these uh, elements inside this uh, amazing software. So, as some of you might know or some of you might notice inside a map, whatever the map is, uh, if it is a geological map, I don't know, or a soil map, or or just a topographic map or whatever. So you'll notice we have uh, three different types of data inside that map. We have, for example, a lake in here. To represent a lake inside a map, you need to create a polygon. So a polygon is some sort of a line but is a closed line and filled with a color. That's a polygon. And to create a road, for example, you need a line or polyline. A polyline is used to represent these uh, linear data, like a road for example. And the final uh, type of vector data, we're talking about vector data right here, is a point to represent, I don't know, uh, a city, uh, an airport, or probably uh, your home. So, and to create this kind of data here inside Quantum GIS, all you have to do is to go to layer and create layer. We got two options in here. We have new shapefile layer and a new temporary scratch layer. We are going to start with this one but uh, I'm going to tell you what is the difference. So let's start with a new temporary layer. So we're gonna call this for example uh, lake. Uh, lake polygon because uh, for this lake we are going to use a polygon to represent it. So for the geometry type, which is the kind of geometry that we are going to use for this one, we are going to use a polygon. A polygon. So you can check this mark in here if you want to include the Z dimension, but we are not going to use that for this uh, tutorial. We got, we, we got here the uh, coordinate system, you can ch change it to whatever coordinate system that you have or that you want to work with. We're going to keep it to WGS84 in here and click on OK. When you click on OK, you will notice that you have uh, a square in here with a color and with a small pen in here. So the square means that the uh, type of data that we have is a, uh, a vector and we're dealing with a polygon in here. So, and when you just uh, hover, you will notice that there's the word polygon and the uh, coordinate system that uh, we use for that polygon. So, the pen, the, sm the small pen icon inside the square means that we are in on editing mode though, so that we can edit this polygon or you can click on this uh, icon in here which says toggle editing to start editing and if you uh, click again so uh, it's gonna ask you to save but didn't create anything to save so to start editing click on this which is add polygon features and we are going to start digitizing in here a polygon. So we are going to make this roughly, but when you uh, digitize something, all you, you need to zoom in and to digitize that to make it as uh, as uh, close to the uh, real data as possible. Because you know a small. So if you look at the scale here, one centimeters here means about 51,170 
uh, in real life you can take a look at the scale here so this small uh, uh, portion here could represent uh, something really big in reality so I'm gonna make this roughly in here so that's gonna be our lake when you finish editing all you have to do is to right click okay so that's nice this is our lake but a lake needs to be uh, with a blue color so let's change the color inside this polygon to do so you go to the polygon right a click and go to properties it's on the bottom here maybe it's not visible for you but it's right on the bottom so in the property you go to symbology and then you can change the color in here or the opacity okay let's change this to a bluish color okay that one looks like a pretty good uh, bluish color for a lake and you can still uh, use these uh, sort of hashes in here but we are going to uh, use a simple uh, fill and we are going to use a blue color okay and apply and click on okay we got our blue in here yay okay there's one thing more about polygons what if you want to make the contour a little bit uh, thicker so you go to simple fill and take a look at the stroke in here let's make it black first and click on okay and change the stroke value in here to probably one as you can see that it will show you a thumbnail here how it looks click on okay there you go this now looks good so play around with this until you get something that you like now this is the first type of data a polygon now what if we want to digitize this road in here so to do so we go to layer and go to the same one new temporary scratch layer and create I'm gonna call this road and I'm gonna call it polyline and change the geometry type to uh, polyline and we're not gonna include the Z dimension and same coordinate system and click on OK the same thing here so uh, forget to show you how to save that so like I said when you finish this one to uh, to save it all you have to click on the uh, toggle editing it's gonna ask it's gonna ask you about uh, if you want to save it or not so let's save it as you can see that the icon of the uh, line disappears but we are on editing mode and you'll notice there's a small line in there which means that we have a polyline in here so we go to here to digitize a line add a line feature zoom in and click on here here okay okay that's enough Anyway, uh, and you, you right click to save it. Let's make this one a little bit thicker. Go to property, and then for the width here, make it for example one. Change the color to black. Click on OK, apply, and OK. Oh, I missed this spot. Well, I did it on purpose to show you how to edit this one. So while on editing mode, so that pen is there, and this one is clicked, you go to vertex tool what is a vertex as you can see that every polygon is composed of uh, multiple segments that are linked with vertex these points here are called vertex let's change it so you click you click you click and drag and that's it now we're okay and then all you have to do is to click it again and save it that's our road nice so let's see how to create a uh, point data. So you go to create layer and new temporary scratch layer and change this to maybe uh, a city or cities. And check point and same thing. So now you just go to here and let's just uh, pick this one here and click on some of these cities in here 
Uh, okay, these are our cities and it's gonna be our home. Anyways, so all you have to do now is to save them. Now, what if you wanna change the color? You do the same thing, make this probably a red one so that we can notice that. And you can pick one of the symbols in here or change to uh, click on this one here and make a simple marker or whatever or maybe an SVG marker and I don't know pick this one and click on uh, make it a little bit uh, bigger maybe 10 by 10 I mean by 10 and apply and click on OK and you will see these um, some sort of banks or whatever so these are the point data polygon data and line data now uh, I said about uh, uh, the difference between a new shapefile layer and a temporary stretch layer so as you can as you will notice that there's the word temporary so what if I close this right now everything we did we did in here will be gone so that's a temporary scratch layer so if you just want to create a really quick uh, polygon or a line or point data maybe just to a quick map to show it to your client or to use it for some of the processing tools you can use a uh, scratch layer but if you want something to save and send it later on to your client maybe you want to use the shape file layer so you do the same thing pick the point the file name and where you want to save it and everything is the same and for this one the field and everything here for the attribute data and attribute table we are going to cover that in the next video so that's it for this tutorial if you have any question or any suggestion leave it below in the comments and if you like this video uh, click that like button if you are new make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified whenever we post something new